Greg Harding and uh, today you find me doing some post-processing on a uh, recent shoot, a gate analysis uh, shoot. So um, we're looking at some photos uh, that I shot of a, uh, an elite athlete running through a set of 3D imaging cameras um, and the idea behind sort of gate analysis is to uh, improve the performance of the elite runners by examining um, how they run and whether there's any adjustments that they can be made to you know, make them more efficient. So, uh, so the idea uh, is that we've shot these images. I shot them on a um, tripod with a, um, a motor burst, sort of nine frames per second, but I picked out just a few of the images that I wanted to sort of compile and composite into just one image to give us this image. So I want to go through that and show you how it actually works. It's fairly sim simple, so it shouldn't take too long. So stick with me. Now, so the idea, uh, I've opened or I've already opened these up into Photoshop. And so you can see that within Photoshop, we've got three different files. And all I'm going to do is to copy um, and paste so um, them all into one stacked file. So I've um, just copied that out. And copy and close. And I'm just going to stack it into this file here. So I'm just pasting that in. You can see it disappears, but um, on the other one, it reappears. So eventually we're going to have just three file, uh, three layers within one file. So this is just closing now, and I'm just going to paste that in there. So you can see over on this side we have uh, our background layer, layer one, and layer two. And if I switch these off, they're all as you'd expect them to be. So the idea now is to stack them such that we can work on them. I'm going to release this to a zero layer, and then uh, we can make some adjustments to it. Now I'm going to put some masks in and for those of you that don't use masks it's a good way of just hiding things away so that you can release them to um, so that it can be seen through the layers. So this has got a white uh, mask on it at the moment and I'm going to change that to black and I'll show you why in a second. Um, the moment you change it to black it's, um, it stops any of the detail going through. but if we leave the bottom layer as white, um, we are go then going to choose our white brush. So I'm just, just picking out the, um, the brush tool. And uh, I know there's a little man back here somewhere. So I'm just gonna paint on the mask a little piece of white. You can see that there. And all that does, does is release him through the layer so he can be seen. The same on this layer here. And you can be fairly um, aggressive with that because uh, there's nothing in between. They're all shot in the same angle um, so the backgrounds are going to line up. And so there we are. It's fairly straightforward um, and all I'm going to do now is just to crop it down crop tool a fairly rough crop, but, um, yeah. and then that's it. And then you would just flatten the image down into a single layer, and happy days. We're well, job done, um, apart from a couple of tweaks and uh, cleaning up the floor and a little bit of sharpness and <laughs> all that sort of stuff, all the usual stuff. So there we are, uh, a quick tutorial, uh, tutorial on how to use layers and uh, how to composite a file. So thanks very much for joining me again. And I uh, hope that's been useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.